welcome friends in uh, our previous sections we have study or understand three types of basic communication schemes one type is direct intertrip scheme which is shown by a red triangle here another type that we have study is permissive transfer type scheme which is shown by a blue color here blue triangle and the another type the third type that we have study is a blocking scheme which is shown by a green so we have drawn a system in which we have compared speed dependability and security so as we have discussed before for direct transfer type scheme you can see that high security is required highest level of security is required in direct transfer type scheme <coughs> for permissive schemes a lesser amount of security is required so less amount of security is required for blocking scheme here you can see that even further less security is required in order to implement the system so this is if you compare all different type of schemes you will see three different levels in as far as security is concerned so if you see the speed uh, now so you will see uh, the speed of direct transfer type scheme and you can see the permissive scheme both have similar speed whereas you can see the blocking scheme is has the highest speed now dependability as far as dependability is concerned the direct transfer type scheme is lowest in the dependability and then permissive is on the second number and blocking scheme is of the highest number in the dependability so in my career i have seen in where it is possible to uh, to apply conditions at the remote end like if if for example in distance protection schemes if there is a fault between you can see two sections for example if it is a line and if we, if there is a fault between two sections so section b will send trip command and section a will receive a permissive signal and the relay at section a also has to be picked up in the forward direction so in this type most cases or all the cases for the scheme permissive scheme is used but for the cases for example if the disc breaker is fail here or in the station a this cannot be checked at station a uh, for example or if there is a voltage high on station b due to front defect or xyz defect this cannot be checked at station a so in such cases where inherently due to the type of fault it is not possible to apply condition or pre check at the remote end direct transfer type scheme is used so blocking scheme is uh, very rarely used i have not seen implemented so far in my career so two schemes that i have seen mostly or 100% early are dtt and permissive schemes so these are this is the some comparison of different type of schemes and also my experience i have explained to you i hope you will have a deeper understanding after getting this comparison thank you very much